Hi everybody, Candace here with Greener Farms DIY and today I'm going to take you through how to make this amazingly fun scrap block in the hoop design. So you'll notice that we do have the stabilizer still in there. I'm using a nice cutaway. And each of the sizes are going to be a little bit different on what your strip sizes are going to be. This is our smallest one. This is a 4x4. Four four. Then you move up in hoop size, and this is a 5x7 hoop. This is our 6x10. This is our 7x11. And this is the 7x14. And so, as you can see, it is a great way to use up all of that scrap fabric that you have, nice and easy. And the top doesn't have any top stitching on it because that's what you're going to be doing with all your stippling when you're putting your quilt together. You don't want to have conflicting uh, top stitching. And so this is just a really nice way to have a whole bunch of block fabric just sitting there waiting for any of your special projects. If it's raining outside or you have a, some time to kill and you want to use up all of that extra scrap that you have, this is an amazing way to use your scrap. We also have a stipple design, which goes over all of these blocks, and that's one that you can purchase as well as a design pack, and it comes with all different sizes that you can stitch down on these quilt blocks. All right, now I'm gonna take you through how to make this. The first thing we wanna do, as you can see I have it loaded, is we have a little hand stop right here. We wanna set all of our hand stops because we're gonna be doing a series of tack down and then fold over and then tack down, whoops, I don't want to touch that, and then fold over and tack down and fold over. So the first thing we want to do is we want to set all of our hand stops. So I know I'm going to hand stop there. I know I'm going to hand stop there. I'm just going to go through and set all of my hand stops. Now this is a super quick design, so um, there's no placement stitch because your very first color sequence is stitching all of your lines for you to show you where you're going to be matching up to. This allows you to move through this design extremely quick. All right, and then the final design um, is just completing that last block. block. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you through how we're going to stitch this out. I'm gonna change my color so you can see my thread on the first one. And the first one is going to be basically the entire outline and all of the lines to show you where we're going to be stitching. All right, so it went ahead and it stitched out basically what is our template. And this is allowing you to see all of the lines as we continue to go through this. Now I went ahead and I trimmed up my scrap fabrics and they're all at two inches because I'm making the five by seven design. Now, when you're doing these um, scrap ones, you know that the tiniest one has a much smaller fabric strip and then the large one has a much larger fabric strip. So you just have to decide which ones do you want to keep your scraps for. So I have a bin of two by twos, I have a bin of one and a half inch strips, or two inch wide, one and a half inch, and so I'm able to go and quickly grab my scraps. So rather than throwing my scraps in the, the garbage or reusing them or anything like that, I find you know worthwhile ones to do this type of cute project. Now we're gonna move into how we do our very first part of the blocks. Now the first thing we're going to do is we are just going to simply figure out how big of a piece do we need for that very first block. That's kind of the most awkward block. But you see, we know it's going to stitch right on that line. So what we wanna do is just be about a quarter of an inch over it, just like that. Since we're starting the first block, we're going to take our next block and we're going to just put it directly over it. Now for some of those that want to tape it in place, you can tape it in place. All right, let's take a look at what we've built. 
We're going to use that tape again. So all we do is we just finger press it down. Now if you have one of those little mini irons, you can go ahead and do one of those little mini irons. Now I'm using the two inch strip and you can see that it's much larger than what it needs to be. I think the directions say one and a half inch, but I like to cut my strips um, to use in other projects. So I don't mind some of that bulk, but your single needle might. And then all we're going to do is we're going to grab our next piece of fabric and you can see that line. So you could either trim your fabric a little bit more closely. I'm just going to go ahead and set my fabric right there and I can actually feel it right below. I'm all lined up. I'm going to tape this down and I'm going to do the next run. Alright, you'll see that it went ahead and it tacked that piece down. Now you can trim all of that at this point with your applique scissors if you choose or just leave the bulk under there. I'm just going to go ahead and leave the bulk under there since that doesn't bother me too much. And then I can see that I'm really close to that line right there. I'm hanging over about a quarter of an inch. And so now what I want to do is I want to continue on and build all the way down as we go. So it's just going to continue building um, down our block. And so we want to go ahead and we want to line that one up and then we're going to continue to go down. All right, so I went ahead and did the block going all the way down as you can see and it looks absolutely amazing and I did trim off some of the um, extra fabric that was on the edge this makes really good blocks uh, or stripes as you're starting these blocks and so keep all your scraps as well because that's really important as you're making this scrap block and then the final one is just the outline to hold it all down and it gives you a nice trim line to attach your sashing to All right, so we are all done. All you're gonna do is you're gonna unhoop your quilted block that you just made. You're gonna go and you're gonna trim it up and then you can use it to add your sashing to it. So that is how we make all of these in the hoop. You got a little four by four size. Now this would be perfect. It can go into a coaster. Um, you can add some backing to it and make a coaster out of it. This would be a perfect size for like a mug rug. And then as you get to the larger sizes, those make really good placemat sizes. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching today. Thank you for supporting Green Roof Farms DIY and buying designs. I do appreciate it and look forward to catching up with you on our YouTube channel and our Facebook group. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a wonderful day.